Hey, it's Jimmy Lee Lard, the Sox Knob, and I'm coming to you with a new series that I'm calling Grown Man Shit. Yeah, you may not like the title, but I love it, so I'm going to stick with it. It's going to post every Wednesday or Thursday, and I think you'll like it. It's pretty much geared towards young men, 20s, 30s, 40s, who are looking to better brand themselves and live the best possible life they can live. So you've seen some of my other content possibly, so it's in keeping with the same line, you know, along those lines of travel style and culture. So I hope you like it. So this particular video is geared about travel and bags that I like to take with me when I do travel to help you choose the best possible bag for you. So here we are. I want to just talk about the art of a good duffel bag. So you can't really beat, in my opinion, the look of a good duffel bag when you're a young man traveling out there in the world. So, um, you know, that look through the airport or what have you. So um, it is my personal favorite as far as traveling, even better than a roller board. So up to you. So this bag, if you followed some of my videos and photos of travel in the past, you've probably seen this bag because it's literally been around the world with me. I love it. It's a vintage bag with a thin profile. So I'm able to throw a laptop in here and still you have lots of space for other items. And I typically will use this in tandem with another bag. So here I have this Tommy Bahama bag. Um, that's, you know, great, but it also has wheels, so I'm able to use these in tandem and one is my personal item, the other one is my carry-on because I hate checking bags because I worked in the airline industry for a very long time and I know what happens to your bags when they get checked, I'm just saying. So in either case, um, my son just used this Tommy Bahama bag when we went to the Bahamas just a couple weeks ago. And I, on the other hand, used this Toomey bag right here that I love, love, love. And I think you might like. Um, this particular one has some great compartments as all Toomeys are very well made bags and they're known um, for how well made they are. So this particular one has an opening up top here for your gym shoes that I just love. Um, I was able to fit two pair of shoes in here along with a pair of flip-flops. So that leaves the entire rest of the bag uh, for all of your clothes and so on. So great compartments on this bag. So this is the Toomey Alpha Bravo, I believe, uh, the McGre McGregor. So they also make a smaller version of this, which is great as a gym bag. Same thing with this Barber bag. Um, Great uh, bag, it's, this is like a uh, crushed canvas bag, um, but they also make a smaller version of this um, for uh, a gym bag. And so and in both of these bags will run you somewhere in the $350, $400 range each. Um, but again, I, I typically carry one of these along with uh, my little vintage bag back here. If I'm taking a longer trip, then I will go for a larger duffel bag. So this particular one is a Tommy Bahama bag. Great stitching on it. I, I just think it's great. Uh, great leather, great feel to it. So I really do like this bag. I use it a lot, particularly if I'm going on a longer cruise or something. Or again, another option for a club bag is this London Fog one. I used to use this quite a bit. I don't use it as much anymore, but again, it has wheels. Great bag to have. <clears throat> if I'm going to be traveling somewhere where I'm going to be buying lots of souvenirs or if I'm going to go on, say a cruise and I'm purchasing liquor to bring back to stock my liquor cabinet, then I'll take something like this uh, Nautica duffel that lays flat. I can fold it flat and put it in the bottom of another bag or this particular bag also lays flat but expands quite a bit. Um, and then I'm able to bring things back without having to purchase a bag while I'm away. And if I don't purchase anything, remember it lays flat and it stays at the bottom of the bag and it doesn't take any extra room in my bag. And then lastly, I think, um, if I want some other kind of quirky vintage bag, I'll take this with me. I typically travel with this um, when I'm going to be filming somewhere. I will use this bag along with one of the other bags. 
um, just to carry things like tripods and other equipment with me, but also obviously can get a lot of other stuff in here as well. So these are some of my favorite bags. Now with this, what I typically do is I plan my outfit so that it's gonna match the bags that I'm wearing. So what I wear when I leave for vacation and when I return typically is gonna be something like so that is gonna match very well to the bag that I have. So that is about it. Hey Sterling, come here. This is Sterling, you guys. I don't know if you can see him from there, can you? Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it for this episode on bags. And I hope you like it, but uh, please check out, you know, these videos. Like I said, it's gonna be either every Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't quite decided yet, but they're gonna be great. So leave your questions or comments and I'll be more than happy to answer you. Uh, and then check me out on jimmylard.com or on my YouTube channel. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one.